Hey there, welcome back to Mantic Stringworks. So today on the workbench we have this Telecaster. So this is my project Telecaster. I've had quite a few years. It's a 2008, made in China. It's got some really good weight to it. And you'll see that <laughs> this is not stock. I put on a Bigsby style uh, vibrato in a previous video about two years ago. Changed the bridge, modified the bridge. This is a Wilkinson bridge with compensated brass saddles. Arcade style momentary switch. <laughs> that was fun. And up here at the headstock, I actually put on a set of fender tuners that I took off a Stratocaster that I own and was replacing with some fender locking tuners. So today we're going to be changing these out for some new tuning machines. These machine heads came to me from Geiker, geiker.com. These are dopamine tuning machines. They're really nice. They've got tons of features and options and we'll have a look at their website in a minute to go over some of the specs, but they should be a direct fit for these tuners and hopefully it goes pretty easy. Okay, well here we are on the geiker.com website and you can see that they have a Halloween special going on right now. That's pretty cool. And they have all kinds of guitar and bass parts ranging from tuning machines, bridges, knobs, pickguards, electronics, pickups, tailpieces, and guitar bodies. <laughs> and they have their own brand of products here. So very cool very comprehensive. So when I was looking at the site initially after I was contacted by Geiker and they asked me if there was anything I was interested in, I thought, hmm, how about some nice tuning machines for my Telecaster project guitar? So I clicked on Telecaster and it came up with a bunch of different products. So tuning machines, of course, but you have bridges and saddles, replacement parts, all kinds of good things. Oh, these are nice. Very nice. There's Halloween again. So, I decided to click on the dopamine right there. The dopamine locking tuning machine. So, GKD434SP. And you can see they come in cool colors. And we'll just click through a few of them. You know, black, gold, now these are more standard, and then you can get into these funkier colors. So you can really customize it to match the guitar you have or that you're building. And they even have a customize option, so you can choose the colors for the main body, for the thumb screw and the split post, and the tuner buttons. So I think that's pretty neat. But I went for these which are the locking tuners with the perloid buttons. I really wanted those. So if you look here, you can see the specs. So we have a 1 to 18 gear ratio. It's for a 10 millimeter peg hole. Uh, you know, so look at the specs, make sure it fits your guitar. Like here they say it does not fit a Squire Mini. <laughs> and you know, there's lots of other information here. There's a couple of videos. Hopefully my video will end up here. That would be great. So if you're interested in these tuners or any of the other products that Geiker sells, please have a look at their website. And there'll be a link in the description below the video, and there'll be an affiliate link there as well. So if you do purchase something, please click on that, and uh, that'll help the channel a little bit. So thanks again, and thank you, thanks again to the people at Geiker for supplying these really nice locking tuners. Now, let's get back to the video. Okay, well, let's have a closer look at these tuners that uh, Geiker provided. Now, they reached out to me and asked me if I had anything uh, I was interested in from their website. And I did say, well, I've got a couple of little project guitars and things. I could start off with uh, changing out some locking tuners. I'm getting a little tired of the Fender ones, you know. <laughs> Everyone puts them on there, and it's always nice to find something a little different. Okay, this is very difficult to get out of the box <laughs> for some reason. There we go. It's just me. 
So it's always fun to find something a little different. So I asked them to send me a set of chrome locking tuners in their new dopamine series. And I think you just saw the specs there online. And I wanted these perloid tuning keys too. I thought those look really good. Something a little different, right? So let's have a closer look. Yeah, very nice. They have a decent weight to them. Here's the locking mechanism. It says Kiker Professional Tuning Machines. Nice little perloid tuning key on top. And we have the two little studs there. Nibs, nubs, studs, whatever you want to call them. And I'm hoping <clears throat> that they're just a straight retrofit into there. All right, so let's get one of these tuners off and verify that these fit with no hassle. So I'm just going to remove the six string, the E string. I might be able to reuse these strings too. We'll see. <laughs> I put them on a little while ago and this guitar hasn't been used too much. People come over, they're always interested in trying it out because it's got the vibrato on it and the momentary switch too, which is cool. So we're just going to take this. I won't cut these off because I might be able to reuse them. They're pretty new. All right, that's out. I'm going to use a Stumac 10 millimeter thin wrench. Well, that's always tightening. I'm used to tightening these things, not loosening them. <laughs> we'll get that off. And these are fender tuners, so I'm not going to get rid of these. I'm going to keep them. I'll put them on another fender guitar. There we go. <coughs> it's always good practice to screw that back on so you don't lose everything, right? <laughs> put that aside and flip it over. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. And as you can see, we have one, two, and three holes. <clears throat> now why do we have three holes? Well, it's because this guitar was uh, a Squire made in China, and it had tuners that only had a single little nub there. Uh, so anyways, I was able to uh, put two holes in so we could put the Fender ones. So now let's see if they match up with the Geiger dopamine ones. I hope so. Cross your fingers. Here we go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Well, that's a good sign. So, you know what? <coughs> when I apologize, I'm still getting over pneumonia. So it's taking a little while. I might cough now and then. I'm going to flip that over. Oh, that looks good already with the perloid. I like that. Get the washer on there. And we'll get that nut. Tighten it up. Now I'm just going to hand tighten this for the moment. And then we'll line them up once they're all on. Still have to line them up even though they have those locating holes. Make sure they're good. Okay, let me do the next five and then we'll have a look. Strings are off, so I'm going to loosen up <clears throat> in the wrong way. I'm going to loosen up the nuts. And the wrench is good for tightening and loosening. Not as efficient when you want to you know, get them off. I find just taking a socket here, just using it by hand, works well. And sometimes, you know, you need that hole because the posts are too high and you won't be able to use it with the actual ratchet. So let's use it by hand. Works well. So I'll just do these and I'll put the new ones in. Here, let's see if one falls out. <laughs> oh, it didn't fall out. Look at that. They're good. All right. So I'm gonna, let me get these off. Of course, these are an easy retrofit, as we just saw. 
These just slide right in the two little stumps. <laughs> They uh, fit right into the hole, but one thing you want to look at, so if you look at the washer, the washer is not just flat on both sides. One side has, and it's, I'm sure it'll be hard to see on the camera, has a bit of a slope on it, like a, a ridge. So you want that up, and you want the flat side down. So I'm going to put this in, locate it. Those two studs in there. And then we'll just finger tighten. Again, I don't want to tighten these up too much <clears throat> because we want to be able to adjust them. So I'll just give them a little turn by hand. And we'll do the rest. Okay, here's the last one. Again, just finger tightening them. Nice turn all of the tuning keys so that they're parallel running in line with the headstock. It's easier to line them up after. Okay, let's flip this over. There she goes. Alright. So I'm going to take this piece of wood which I know has a straight edge and just sort of move it along until all the tuning keys are lined up. It's good. <clears throat> and then I can tighten. This is where I'm going to use the, the ratchet. Trip tightening. So I'm going to line it up. And you still want to hold on to these, so I'm going to do the first and the sixth string, and then that will help line up everything else. So let's get under here. I'm going to wrap my head around about which way I have to turn this now. <laughs> okay, there we go. Snug these up with the wrench in a minute. That's good. Okay, getting close. Decided to put a couple of clamps on just really to show you what I'm talking about here. So, what to do is you push them so they're all touching. And then, whoop. silly me. I'm going to get in here and just clamp this side. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> now, you probably can't flip it over like that because <clears throat> the clamps will hit the table, so I'll lift that up. Turn it up. There we go. Still a little bit too high. So I'm going to get another piece here. There we go. Now we can tighten these down. It's a little easier. <coughs> Keep your eye on it. Make sure that when you're tightening, it doesn't want to slide around a bit. Those locating holes do a good job, but there's still there's a bit of wiggle room there. Okay, one more. All right. Sides, take our stick out, can remove some of those. Now, you tell me what you think. I think those look really sharp. I'm a big fan of that furloid. Look at that. 
super nice. And then the back side, yeah, looks clean, look good. Easy install. Let's string this sucker up. I'll make sure to put these fender tuners away in the bag. Got another build, another time. Well, let's have a look here what these look like. The front of the headstock. Very, very nice. Love that purloid. Looks really good. Feels good too, nice and soft. Well, here's a shot of the back. And you can see the little screws that tighten it. Those look really good. These purloid tuning keys look nice and seamless, right? Looks great. It's like they've always been there. Okay, well the proof is in the stringing, <laughs> not the pudding. <coughs> With a locking tuner, right? So I'm gonna just turn these so they're perpendicular. <clears throat> I'm going to loosen the tightening screw on the back. Now, because I'm just going to reuse these strings, <clears throat> this isn't typical, of course, having this curly cue. Uh, I hope I can get them in there. Yeah, there we go. So, I'm just going to pull that through. Get the string relatively tight. So, I'm going to change the angle. There we go. I'm going to point that hole more at the nut slot. I can get more of a pull on it. And again, <coughs> reusing these, so just really for a demonstration here. So I'm going to tighten that down. That seems good and tight. Let's bend that up for a second. Get a turn. <laughs> they work. All right, let me do the other five. Super smooth tuning action. Very precise. Feel good, the purloid, I really like that actually. It's not cold to the touch. There we go. Nice. So, anytime I put in new tuners, once I tune up, and certainly the <clears throat> next few times you play, just make sure you go in there and snug everything up again. You know? <laughs> There we go. Different tension, different thing. Let's see if it changes the tuning. Sometimes the tuning will change. And that's one of the hidden problems. You have a little loose nut there. And you wonder why a string just won't keep tuned. Everything's good. Anyways, just tighten those up. It's always a good idea. Looking good. Okay, so what do I think of these Geiger dopamine tuners? Well, these locking tuners certainly were easy to install. Again, check your specs, you know, make sure they're for your guitar before ordering. They come in all kinds of colors, styles, really nice. And they seem to be very good quality. I mean, they work really well right out of the box. So. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on these over the next few months, but I don't expect any problems. So check Geiger products out on their website, geiker.com, G-U-Y-K-E-R.com. They've got Telecaster products, you know, components, hardware, Stratocaster, Gibson, bridges, trims, tailpieces, all kinds of things, knobs. Yeah, very nice. So Geiger dopamine. <laughs> you gotta like the name too. Alright, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to check Geiker out. The link will be in the description below.